So let's have a look and see how easy it is to put together. First, we need a head. So first thing we need to do is take off the body cap, undo the locking ring, pull off the body cap. Insert the bulb, but not too tight. Now we need to make a decision whether we use a reflector or whether we use the softbox. In this case, we're actually going to use the softbox. So let's put that together. So first, we need our outer cover. Here's our outer cover. And we need that with the silver side facing upwards. Now we need our speed ring, which has the little lugs down here. Place that into the centre. Take one of the rods, put it into the speed ring, pop that into the pocket down there. Take our second rod at 180 degrees, put that into the hole, pop that into the top pocket and then pull the material to pull the speed ring into place. Put our third rod in, push down the material, push the rod into place push the clip into the top corner. Hold down the speed ring, push down the material, put the rod into place and pop that into the top pick. And there we go, very simple. Now we need our internal scrim which you can easily put into place in here, top left. Top right, bottom right, and bottom left. Then we need the outer scrim, which simply goes over the top of the rods, pull the other two ends back over the other two rods the materials down on the edge because we've got velcro down here drop that onto there and there we go nice and simple so now we need to put the light inside the softbox very simple put the head into the speed ring turn it around until it drops give it a quarter turn until it locks and then lock the locking ring and there we go to the stand Undo this knob and then tighten it back up again. And then we can have a look how the head works. So first we need to put in our power cable which goes into here. Then we turn on the power and straight away we'll see the charge light come on and then it will go to the ready light. When I press this button here we can hear the flash go off, you can see the charge light and the ready light and they're ready. It's now ready to accept our next flash. This dial here controls all of the power output on this particular head. So we go from full power here to one eighth power which is full four stops. This button here controls our modelling light and if we press that we can see that we don't have any light at all and then we press it again, we can now see that the modern light has now come on. This button here controls the sensor, which is this one here, which accepts infrared and also white light. I'll tell you a little bit about that a little later on. Next, we need to connect up our camera. So we use the supplied sink jack, which we push into there, and that will fire the flash, don't worry about that. So using the standard sink lead that comes with the kit, we've got the PC sink socket at this end and this simply connects into the camera up here, into the PC sink socket on the camera. And all we do then is basically fire that away and we've got the picture. Now one of the things that may happen to you is that you don't have a PC sink socket on the camera. So what you will need then is a small little accessory that you need to purchase from your local camera store, which is a hot shoe adapter. This simply connects onto the cable and then will fit onto the top of the hot shoe of the camera, just like this. So when we now fire it, 
it still fires. But that's an accessory again. Alternatively, Interfit also enable you to do away with a sync cable altogether. So we can remove that and when you can use the infrared transmitter which works in conjunction with the sensor up here. Remember me saying? So all we do here is we press the button and that will fire it off. Again, that just sits in place of the hot shoe adapter on the camera. Another alternative is the radio transmitter set. And again, very simple to operate. There's a receiver which plugs into the head and we've got the transmitter. Let's plug this in, see how it works. So that goes into there, turn on the red button and then when we press the button on the top we can see it working. And then on top of the camera, place that into the hot shoe, press our button and it fires away.